All right, so real quick for my Uber drivers, my Lyft drivers, this is the Dart Pack. Now, I made this for everybody, but namely for y'all, because it's so dangerous out here. That's why I posted all those videos about, you know, the unfortunate circumstances that are happening with, you know, Lyft drivers, Uber drivers, man. They are, uh, they, they, they're like sitting ducks. Okay, so there's a certain way you can approach, you know, anybody, right? And you have to go with your intuition too. I want all Uber and Lyft drivers to understand it's better to be safe than sorry. So check this. When you pick somebody up, right? And this is not on behalf of Uber or Lyft. It's behalf of Thick Skin, Michael Allen, how to move properly. When you dealing with cars, people you don't know, picking folks up, like the worst, the least of your worries at this point is catching COVID. So check this. I made the bag you know, sleek and not huge. So you can carry things in it. It's just a bag, right? You carry things in it, but still drive. It doesn't deal with, you know, if you got a stick, you're fine, right? Now you don't have to wear the full bag. Like I got the front and back on, right? You pick someone up. Don't pick somebody up. If you know they're on the left side of the street, don't pick somebody up where they'll be walking without, they'll be walking, talking to you without being through the car, right? You, so if it's on the left side, I got to drive all the way around. And so I got, I can look through the door, right? Why do I say that? Because worst case scenario, I would, I'm not lying. I would, if somebody came in with the mask, with the, you know, hoodie on and all that shit, I would be like, you know, excuse me, sir. You know, uh, can you take your hoodie off for a sec so I can see it's you? Now, as I'm doing that, there's a zipper. I remember I call it the underbelly zipper. There's a zipper. Sir, can you... Um, and I'm talking to him now, this underbelly zipper, this is where I don't even have to unzip it, but the firearms right here and it's held in there, right? I have an elastic band. It's not moving, right? So I can talk through the car. So I can take the, yeah. Okay. So he can know I'm on or she can know whoever I'm on right now. If I feel uncomfortable, this is what I would do. And when I say uncomfortable, he, it, the hairs on the back of my, I'm stepping out the vehicle, right? You open the car, put it in park, you open the car, you low, when I say low, because you can use the car and now you got your bag on, right? So you got coverage on the back and you got coverage on the front. I'm pulling out my weapon. I'm staying low, right? I'm staying low and I'm full and I'm facing anything like this and i'm backing out i'm gonna leave that damn car right where it's there and i'm backing out why because i know if i take any bullet this way I, I won't even feel it and i have the car in front of me right now if 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 i'm not going to just come out and start you know blazing if it's nothing then it's nothing call me crazy but i'm going home you get what i'm saying oh i'm sorry man i thought you had some hey man you know what time it, explain it get back in the car or whatever. If it is something and they run off, that's when you're ready for whatever. And now you make your phone calls that you need to make. But the next time and over time, when people start seeing this bag, that's why I called it the dart bag. It comes from, it stems from the poison dart frog, right? You're trying to kill the dart frog eating it, right? The other animals. And it kills them immediately and they uh, spit it out. They got to spit it out. And the dart frog just runs his way out. So this bag is like, we don't want no problems. We ain't here to hurt nobody. But when you see these colors, understand you try to hurt me and I'm going to hurt you.